This is a usage report video on the tank treatment for hydroids using fenbendazol. Aos caros marítimos, eu já deixo o meu pedido de desculpa, que isso aqui é só um relato de uso de medicação para o Reef to Reef. Então ele vai ser narrado em inglês. Eu deixei uma descrição em português, mas se preferirem, depois eu faço a descrição detalhada. So this is our source of information. That's a page on Reef to Reef published by Todd Williard. Do not try to replicate this treatment unless you are very aware of its details because it can be harmful to animals we keep. Those were the animals I had in the tank when starting the treatment. Mostly they were LPS or SPS. Few Ricordias and Rhodactis, one maize and one elegance coral, and some Euphilias, and many SPS. So my first step was to get rid of any animals that could be harmed during this treatment, like GSP, like letters, gorgonians, and remove all of my snails. I used the higher dosage recommended, actually 1.89 milligrams per gallon. So I diluted 500 milligrams of pure fenbendazole in RODI water to use only part of it. And as seen, activated carbon was removed from the tank. My main targets were digitate hydrates and colonial hydrates that were starting to spread in the tank. So these were my results. I was able to control all hydrates in the tank, both digitate and colonial hydrates. I left a very small colony of GSP inside the tank just to monitor and record its effects. Most of the remaining animals inside the tank were not harmed during the treatment. After 30 hours of treatment, I have put back activated carbon and done a water change, and all animals were well, including copepods, SPS, Euphilias, NEMS. In my case, feather dusters were not affected. And the rest of the animals were pretty well with no adverse effects that I've noticed.